Hi, my name is Ivera Leal, a researcher at Microsoft Research. This video is to present my joint work with Shem Sander at Penn State University on designing for responsible trust in AI systems, a communication perspective. Recently, there are lots of academic and public discussions around trustworthy AI, often as an operational point for AI ethics, including principles to ensure trustworthy AI, such as accuracy, robustness, fairness, and so on. But is that what we need? Is technology creators' responsibilities limited to ensuring trustworthiness? There are several issues. We must start with the recognition that trust is a human judgment often defined by a judgment of dependability in situations characterized by vulnerability. So what can go wrong with human trust in AI? First, individual system will always differ in their trustworthiness and there will be non-trustworthy ones. Second, people cannot always perfectly assess the trustworthiness and they can be misled by a malicious attempt to earn their trust in an AI system that is not trustworthy. Also, not all people make the same trust judgments, and some are more vulnerable to developing inappropriate trust. This creates inequality of experiences and outcome. With different levels of trust, people live in different psychological realities, even for the same system. Inappropriate trust can have many negative consequences, such as over and under reliance, misuse, quality burden, and so on. For example, a lesson can be learned from recent work studying user interaction with explainable AI system. Even though in principle, explainability is recognized as a necessary property for trustworthy AI, empirical studies repeatedly find that showing explanation can lead to overtrust and over-reliance. We must place this responsibility of preventing inappropriate user trust and even worse, malicious manipulation of user trust on technology creators. To do so, we propose to frame information design of AI, including user interfaces and documentation as communicating the AI trustworthiness. With this communication framing, we can ask two important questions. One is how should AI trustworthiness be responsibly communicated to ensure appropriate and equitable user trust judgments? For the industry as a whole, we must ask how to protect users from malicious parties' deceptive communication to earn their trust. To answer these questions, we must start with developing a deeper understanding on how trustworthiness is communicated in the CS system and perceived by people to make trust judgment. We therefore develop a conceptual model called MATCH to describe this process and leverage to guide practical considerations on how to design AI system that communicate their trustworthiness responsibly. We develop MATCH by drawing from three sets of literature. The fact literature on trusting AI, human factors literature on trusting automation, and lastly, communication and HCI literature on trust in web technology. While more details are in the paper, I want to highlight a few concepts we learn from the communication literature. Let's start with the example. How do people develop trust for this WebMD page about vaccine information? Here we consider a new user coming to this page, so the locus of trust is on the information itself. The communication literature conceptualizes the web page as presenting many cues that reflect the underlying information trustworthiness. Broadly, there are content cues in the text content and contextual cues of a website, such as links to supporting resources, certification from third-party oversight, and other users' ratings. Another core idea in this line of literature is that these rich trustworthiness cues are made possible by certain technology affordances, which may not exist in other technology or media forms. For example, links to supporting resources are enabled by the navigability affordance of web technology, and the supporting ratings are enabled by an agency affordance allowing social interactions on the web. Then people may assess this trustworthiness cues via two different cognitive process. Related to the system one and system two thinking in Kahneman's seminal book, Thinking Fast and Slow, dual process theories are fundamental 
to understanding how people process information and make judgments. One process is called systematic processing by thinking slow to make a rational judgment. This is often what happens when people read the content carefully and judge the information deliberately. The other is called heuristic processing by invoking heuristics or rules of thumbs to make a fast judgment. For example, positive user rating can invoke a bandwagon heuristic that associates many other people's positive opinion with positive properties like trustworthiness. Heuristic are cognitive shortcuts that people develop through various experience, but when applied inappropriately, they can lead to biased or error-prone judgments. This communication theory also helps explain the inequality of trust. When people lack either the ability or motivation to engage in slow systematic processing, they're more likely to resort to heuristic processing. Note that ability and motivation are umbrella terms that can encompass many factors and courses, making this theory very powerful for understanding individual differences in their trust judgments. So we borrow these concepts into match, highlighting that AI trustworthiness is communicated by trustworthiness cues presented in three common affordances of AI system, AI generated content, transparency, and interaction. These cues are then processed by people to make trust judgment through the due processes, sometimes by invoking trust-related heuristics. The due processing is subjective to the influence of user ability and motivation. In the paper, we use an illustrative use case to show how practitioners can use MESH to design AI system responsibly and use it to suggest common trustworthiness cues in a system and then how they are processed by users. I'll give a quick walkthrough and encourage you to read the paper for more details. So consider practitioners working on this AI app called Health Checker, which suggests potential common diseases based on patients' input of symptoms, their background, and sensor data. It will also send such information and a suggestion to the patient's primary doctor for supervision. Based on match, practitioners should start with enumerating on what are the trustworthiness attributes of the underlying AI. One way we propose, and not necessarily the only way to operationalize the definition of trustworthiness is using the classic ABI model developed for interpersonal trust. Considering what aspects of model ability, intention belovedness, and process integrity should determine its level of trustworthiness. Then the practitioner should consider what are the trustworthiness cues they already have or should have in the three affordance of the AI system's interface and information design. If possible, this step should be supported by careful user research to understand user characteristics and what they pay attention to when making trust judgments. The trustworthiness cues should map to the precise trustworthiness attributes they reflect. This will also help identify irrelevant cues, what people pay attention to, but does not really reflect the trustworthiness of the model, such as the novel medium of a chatbot interface. Practitioners should then carefully examine if a given trustworthiness cues can be appropriately assessed by the target group user. Let's take one example here. Assuming the AI system can provide explanation visualization for its suggestions. The practitioner must consider the trust judgment by the two user groups. One is the primary doctor. They should usually have the domain knowledge and the motivation to reason about the correctness of the explanation, so performing systematic processing. But this is questionable for the patient persona. Instead of carefully analyzing the explanation, they may instead invoke an explainability heuristic that equates being explainable to being capable or below it and then make a quick positive trust judgment. This is likely what happened in this empirical study that find explanation can lead to the pitfall of over-trusting. So this explainability heuristic is an unfounded heuristic, unlikely to hold or to be true. 
Hence, practitioners should either avoid presenting this feature to the patient group or only use a design if it is tested to be accessible for this user group. In the paper, we list other heuristic that can be triggered by common trustworthiness cues by surveying relevant communication and human computer interaction literature. Importantly, heuristics are an indispensable part of human cognition, and not all are unfounded. For example, a government's transparency feature, say a certification provided by a government or third party oversight, it invokes an authority heuristic in user which is a founded heuristic as being certified does usually mean better trustworthiness. By conceptualizing this process of trust judgments in AI, an important goal of this work is to provide guidance on what are good trustworthiness cues that technology creators should use. We define the concept of warranted trustworthiness cues Cues that can lead to warranted trust judgment with regard to the true level of trustworthiness. For a cue to be warranted, it should satisfy three conditions. First is the truthfulness condition. It should be presented honestly without deceptive manipulation. Second is a relevance condition that a cue should be relevant or reflective of some underlying model trustworthiness attribute. So lastly, the cue should satisfy a calibration condition, leading to well-calibrated trust judgment by the target user with regard to the trustworthiness attributes it reflects. This calibration condition can be assessed by a formal analysis. Through measuring changes in people's trust judgment through observing the cue, by manipulating the changes in the underlying trustworthiness attribute, and a good cue should result in similar changes between the two. In addition, we suggest some rules to help practitioners identify whether a given cue is likely to have good calibration. That is, when the target user group has the ability and the motivation to perform systematic processing, we call it a systematic condition, or the cue does not invoke unfounded heuristic the no unfounded heuristic condition. Lastly, we attempt to add considering how to guard against malicious communication by borrowing from the costly signaling theory in social and evolutionary psychology. During social interactions, people with animal constantly present cues to signal some underlying positive attributes, such as being trustworthy. And some will try to deceive others. So evolution will favor, meaning that more attention and weights will be given to cues that are costly, costing the signal something that could not be afforded by those with less of given quality. For example, a gesture that is effortful and uncomfortable, but it cannot be afforded to pose by a less strong animal. So we propose this concept of expensive trustworthiness cues that to present in a believable extent impose a level of cost on the technology creator. For example, to forge an accuracy metric is easy, so it should not be the only cue for people to base their trust on. Whereas having a reliable internal auditing structure is costly for the technology creator, and using cues reflecting that should be a more favorable industry practice. We'll close that this discussion is still preliminary and more nuanced views on expenses, including the relation with the resources and gains should be developed. Again, more details about how to use match, including how to analyze whether a trustworthiness queue is warranted or expensive can be found in the paper. To summarize, we develop a conceptual model called match to describe how trustworthiness is communicated in AI systems and assessed by people to make trust judgment. With that, we frame responsible design of AI as responsibly communicating AI trustworthiness. We also derive practical guidances to help practitioners design good trustworthiness cues for this responsible practice. In a paper, we also discuss three future directions, including regulating the space of trustworthiness cues, developing practical means to empower users to make accurate trust judgment, and leverage social, organizational, and industrial mechanism to provide a warranty of trustworthiness cues. We encourage you to check out the paper and hope to continue developing the practice of responsible AI design for appropriate and equitable trust. Thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to take your questions.